Welcome back to Waves and Trails. My name's Chris. I don't know if we're taking this stuff too seriously or not serious enough, but country's opening up, um, so to speak. States, municipalities are opening up. We're out here in the Sierra Nevada mountains, which are open to develop campsites and the kind of recreation picnic areas are closed. So you're allowed to camp as long as you're not in a developed campsite. Go figure, but hey, gonna do what we're gonna do. So we're up here for two days. We're gonna look for morels. Morels are a tasty, tasty, tasty little mushroom. If you love, if you like mushrooms, you would love morels. They're yay big. They're just awesome to cook with. They're just fantastic. It's hard, you can't grow them basically. So you gotta go in the woods and find them. And this is the time of year, especially the snow has melted up here in Sierra Nevada is that we're gonna hopefully find some morels. They like burn sections. So we're gonna go that way a little bit and uh, look for them. But we're gonna get camp all set up and then see if we can find some morels and kind of hang out and enjoy the great outdoors. All right, thanks for joining us today. <laughs> First start downhill, we'll work our way up. It's all wet down there too, so a little bit of moisture seems to be the trick. Look at those beauties, all right. I'm starting to find the secret sauce here. So we're gonna be picking for a while. One thing I did learn in Michigan is when these ferns start to come up, that's also a good indicator for morels. So we got one here, but looks a little old right out in the open. No, oh, that's good. It's a nice big one too. I think that's the first one, true one I found out in the open like this. All right, last spot for today, and then we'll go back to camp. Big stream. That's today's haul. Nice handful. Not bad. From not knowing where to find them. If you follow the channel for a little bit, you know I'm a whiskey guy. You can't let this go to waste, and it's 5.30. Yes. That doesn't taste like anything. Mm. You know what doesn't taste like water? Dry fly bourbon. Now, if you look closely, 62% alcohol, 124 proof. Don't let that proof scare you. You can actually sip this. At least I can. Mm. And it's a good sipping whiskey. And it's not, it's not expensive, $40, 62%. Use it for coronavirus. Can't beat a sunrise in the mountains. All right. Next morning. Zero. Next morning. Uh, it's like 6:30. Old chilly. We're gonna break down camp. We're gonna break down camp and uh, go find some more. All right. Day number two. We're gonna go up this time and work our way down. So it looks like the trees have been dead for a while. But popping up, here's one. And after they burn, they look like everything else on the forest floor. 
And we came out to this next tree. The other one was straight there. And here's one starting to pop. Oh, I see one. Arrow, stop, stop, stop. Come here, Arrow, come here. We got a couple in this area. Yep. It's about a bunch of them over there. Looking around. The one right here. Arrow, stop. Anything you touch, he thinks. Oops, I'm leaving my bag. It's a toy. So that's a good little spot. Uh, wait, wait. Across the road. And another little pile. One there, one there, one there. A couple more over there. I'm growing on this hillside. You can see someone was out here hunting for morels. Seven and a half inch shot. All right, I think that's it for us. Today's haul, not bad. Pound and a half, maybe two pounds. Look at these beauties. Look at these beauties. All right, I'm gonna get these guys cut up and cleaned for cooking. We're gonna go ahead and just saute them. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more of the stuff I do, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.